Hi you guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. I am doing another week in my lifestyle video today. This video is going to take place here at home in New York City, but I'm actually prepping for two trips this month. It's really exciting. I haven't done any traveling in quite a long time. I'm going to Costa Rica and then I'm also going to upstate New York for my birthday. Today I am having a no makeup day. I feel like it's not that obvious on camera, but I've been having quite a bad allergic reaction under my eyes. So I've been taking a break from makeup. I think it's something that I ate. As a kid, this actually happened to me a lot when I was like 12 to 13 and I never figured out what caused it. This time it hasn't been so bad, but it's been acting up for the last week or so. So I've just been trying to take it easy and watch what I'm eating and putting on my face, but it hasn't been fun. It is looking a bit better today. So I'm hoping it clears up before my trip. Before we get further into the video, we have a quick message from our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is a long time partner on my channel. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with them, but in case you're not, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. They really have something for everyone, whether you want to explore new skills or deepen existing passions. Their class topics range from things such as illustration to business to photography, even topics like gardening. I'm currently in a class called Productivity for Creatives, Build a System that Brings Out Your Best by Thomas Frank. And the really cool thing about Skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description box below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare to start exploring your creativity today. And thanks again to Skillshare for working with me on this video and let's get back into the vlog. Yeah, today I just have kind of a lot of errands and things to wait around the house for. I have a chair pickup for a chair that we're reupholstering. I mentioned kind of like the design process of that in one of my last vlogs. That's happening today. I'll show it to you in a second. I'm definitely going to take Laz to the park for a nice long walk. I'm going to get back on an exercise routine since surgery, so I'll probably do like a Pilates class or something at home. I have someone coming to pick up some shoes that I sold on Instagram. And then I'm doing some different business, logistics, admin kind of stuff. I'm packing some receivings of new jewelry styles that we're releasing soon. I'll definitely share those with you guys later in the video. And I have a meeting with FedEx to negotiate some lower shipping rates for our business, which I hope goes well. And then we'll have to see what else I get into today. So here is the chairs before. As you can see, it's the yellow color. It's still in its original fabric from decades ago. So we're gonna be getting it done in this chocolate brown color, which I think is gonna be so beautiful with the space and the wood. And it's a very similar kind of fabric to this, maybe a little bit nicer, but it's also a Danish fabric. And then I think we're gonna work on refinishing the wood ourselves. But yeah, the chair's getting picked up in about an hour. Leslo is very excited and I'm super excited to see how it turns out. I have the roll of fabric for them here. We actually tried to fit this in our car yesterday to take to the reupholstery place in Queens, but we could not fit it in the car door, unfortunately. And their pickup and delivery service was actually cheaper than Uber's at the time. So that's what we're doing. And I'll definitely share the place after if we have a good experience. I also wanted to mention before getting further in this video, because I feel like it needs to be addressed is that what is happening in the world right now is absolutely horrifying. I personally am not an expert on the conflict. I've learned a lot more about it in the recent weeks as things have escalated, but I'm definitely not an expert on the topic and I don't think I would be providing any value by sharing my thoughts on it other than that it's horrifying and that you should donate and help out in some way if you can. Make sure that you're researching the places that you're donating to. As always, things can change really quickly with what people need, so maybe do some research before just like clicking an Instagram story link and donating because I feel like a lot of people just like mass repost things like that without giving it a Google or making sure it's legit. And I think influencers especially 
can be super guilty of doing that because they're afraid of getting canceled influencers celebrities people with platforms definitely with any upcoming business launches we're going to find a way to give back maybe through some different organizations i haven't completely settled on one yet we don't have a release super soon but definitely in the next month we're gonna have one so i'm sure a lot's gonna change by then yeah just sending you guys peace and love and just because i'm carrying on on this channel like i normally would doesn't mean that i'm not thinking about what is happening i just think it's healthy to have a little bit of an escape it's obviously such a luxury to have a bit of an escape when the world is so bad yeah i felt like that needed to be said. On a lighter note, I'm going to show you guys some of our new jewelry pieces that I've been working on boxing up. The first is a new version of our oxidized hoops. Everything's so professional now because our logistics center requires barcodes. And we have like our jewelry boxes and pouches and everything. We've made oxidized hoops before. I don't have the old ones in here with me. But the old ones are smaller and thinner and they have a different back clasp as well these are the new ones they are solid 925 sterling silver with an oxidized finish they have the very like traditional backs on them and these are made at our jeweler in la that makes all of our pieces they have a really faint engraving and you're definitely going to be seeing me wear these so much and then we also have our new heirloom ring i've been wearing my sample for almost two years now i think so you guys have definitely seen me wear it but we finally made it in production we have sizes five through nine i'll definitely insert some pictures of mine that i've been wearing for a couple years because the oxidized finish really ages organically and it's so beautiful to see the silver start to peek through but i put off doing a full production of this for a while just because it definitely is a more feminine piece just like the earrings are and most of the things that we make are very unisex gender neutral but it's fun to explore different feminine and masculine pieces and i really want to start doing that more and obviously anyone can wear it a morning of fixing myself I got my nails and toes done and I got my roots touched up as well I've been getting some comments asking how my hair is growing so much and looks like this when I dye it all the time which is very nice it's a few different products I'm gonna link them down below but I also did a video where I talk more about it as well I think a lot of it's diet focused and just stress and health focused i used to be vegan and i was dealing with quite a lot of hair loss you can still see that i have some spots that still need to fill out a little bit more yeah i'll have the video linked down below where i chat a bit more about that if you're interested i have started using one new product really recently so i don't think i would be seeing results yet i need to go because someone is asking for my spot maybe not I'm gonna go home i have a good amount of work to do today i leave for the trip in two days i think i'm gonna start packing and try on some different looks for you guys i feel like summer fashion is not really my forte but this year i'm determined to have some summer pieces in my wardrobe and dress more weather appropriate i feel like that's another thing that's a part of getting healthier and also being in a healthier relationship i'm just a lot more comfortable showing my body now too which is fun i just got home but i thought i would show you my outfit today leslo can you stop squeaking for a second <laughs> just one second so I'm wearing this Tiffany Elsa Peretti necklace with this black D-ring belt. My trousers are by Ghani. I'm wearing my Jill Sander Birkenstock shoes. This is a Helmet Lang sweater that I got on the real real. It has really cute 
cutouts and an open back. And I just have my Margiela 5AC tote, our new heirloom ring that's gonna be releasing soon, and our fossilized band, which I think we're gonna restock. You guys will have to tell me what you think. I wear both of these every day. So pretty. I'm about to make such a yummy smoothie. I did order sushi for lunch, but I'm really hungry and it seems like it's gonna take a while. I've been loving cherry stuff lately. I always love like cherry kombuchas, but I've started making these cherry chocolate protein smoothies that are delicious. And adding some vanilla, like coconut yogurt, cashew yogurt, dairy yogurt. This is all the deli had when I went. I've never actually made it with real dairy yogurt. A little bit of oat milk for blending. Big up protein is definitely one of my favorites. And I'm out of banana, or I would add that as well. It's so yummy. My sushi just came. I really like this place, Silver Rice, if you guys are in the Bedstead Crown Heights area. It's super affordable too. I just get their veggie combo and it comes with a miso soup and some edamame and this is all about $15. Okay, so now I'm gonna get started on the Costa Rica packing with you guys. I've recently purchased some things for the trip that I'm gonna share with you and we're just gonna try on what I'm bringing together and decide what we need to bring because since covid i always overpack if you've been following along for a while you know that i used to be quite minimal did a stint of living out of quite a small suitcase for about seven months in 2018 and i just can't imagine doing that now like thinking of just bringing this bag i'm about to show you guys for like a six day trip is stressing me out for some reason i don't know i need to work on it i think with the pandemic I've just gotten so used to being at home and I just always want to be comfortable and have all my things so it could be a challenge. It's like 90 degrees where we're going so I definitely don't need any heavy clothes but I know we're doing some different types of activities and we want to bring some different gear and stuff so we'll see. It's a trip that I've kind of been tagged onto. I'm going with my boyfriend Siggy and some of his friends who surf and it's mainly a surfing trip for them. I would try it out. We definitely want to do some different hiking and a lot of outdoor activities. I switched you to my camera because I have it working again. But I'm going to show you what I'm planning on packing so far. I'll also do some try-ons for you guys. So some of this stuff is new, some of it's not. If I can, I will link everything below in case you're interested. Also, Lazlo's chewing on his bully stick. I hope it's not not too annoying. So I recently placed an order on Reigns. My carry-on suitcase broke a while ago and I've only had a big checked luggage and I don't have any good duffels. So I wanted to get one for things like car camping, also trips like this, any sort of like weekend trip. And I got this large green waterproof duffel. I believe Reigns is a Danish brand. They have a lot of cool stuff. Their website imagery is super inspiring and it's actually quite reasonably priced. So I got the large green weekend bag. And since I was buying the duffel, I went ahead and got two toiletry bags as well. I have just been using like a dust bag for my toiletry bag. I'm just like repurposing old bags. And those are obviously not waterproof. These are, and they're super easy to clean, and I think so nice. So I got this in the bone, in black color. All of the colors on their website are so nice, and I feel like I could have picked any of them. And then I also got one of their hats. This is gonna be kind of like my rainforest sun hat. It might be a little hot for it, but it's super cute, and has ties, and it's just like a bigger, bucket hat so I'm definitely gonna bring this it folds up quite small too and I'm packing a mix of outdoorsy kind of pieces for more active adventures we're staying on the beach when we go I'm still not sure if I'm vlogging the trip yet but I'm sure I'll have some clips to share with you guys and I'll definitely talk about it afterwards but we're renting ATVs we're doing some hikes we're doing horseback riding maybe i'm gonna learn to surf you know it's an active trip i have my goggles here for the atv 
Siggy got these. I'm not sure where he got them, but I'm sure they're pretty easy to find. I'm probably gonna bring my little REI backpack. I use this like every day when I go to the park with Laszlo for his like toys and water and treats and stuff. I always take it hiking too and we'll probably bring like some bladders for water. And then shoes are something I haven't really known about. I don't want to overpack. I already have three shoes here though, which seems like a lot, um, but I still feel like it might not be enough and appropriate for what we're going to be doing. I have some normal like rubber flip-flops just for the beach. And then I bought these. You guys have definitely seen these. They're not Crocs, they're by Morel. They were only like $30 and they're so comfy. Since it's so warm there, I don't really want to bring any of my hiking boots or sneakers, which I could end up regretting, we'll see. But I wanted something more protective for the ATV and for hiking and these are waterproof too. And they're just really funny. This is the Burlwood color. They have a lot of different colors. They have a really cool pair that's like black and white. So I'll have these linked below in case you're interested. And then when Lazo was a puppy, he actually ruined my only pair of like nicer flat sandals by this brand, The Last Conspiracy. I loved those so much and I've been searching for something to replace them. I found this pair of Common Projects leather and suede slides on the Real Real for quite cheap. They're also really comfy and I think these are gonna be like my nice shoes that I'm bringing. We're definitely gonna go out some, I think. It's one of the girls' birthdays when we're there and I know we're doing a nicer dinner for that. So I wanted to have more than just flip-flops even though I think we'll be dressed pretty casually the whole time. Now for swimwear. I just ordered an Issa Boulder swimsuit but I don't think it's gonna come in time. I ordered it over a week ago and I did like the express overnight shipping and it's been stuck for days so I don't think it's gonna come by tomorrow unfortunately but that's okay. I'll wear it another time and I don't even know if it will fit me but I'm thinking I'm gonna bring these five bikinis. They don't take up very much space. Four of them are the exact same, just in different colors. When I find something I like, I go with it. And they're by the brand Basic Swim. They're pretty affordable. The brand does sales a good amount too. Blue one I actually haven't worn yet. I've worn all the other ones. But they're just tie, string bikinis. They weren't kind of small. I would definitely recommend sizing up if you're interested. But I just find swimsuits like this to be the most flattering on my body type. And they're super adjustable if you fluctuate between sizes. So I have it in blue, black and white, and then also this really beautiful green color. And then I think I'm also going to bring this Pichavera Flames bikini. It's kind of on its last leg um, just from wearing it like at the lake and on the rocks and stuff. So this one is more of the one that I don't care so much about. It can get more ruined if it needs to be. And then also on the Real Real, I got two different cover-ups. I realized they have like a really good cover-up selection and I wanted some cuter, kind of sexier pieces besides just like linen shorts and shirts, which I'm definitely going to bring to. So I found this John Galliano cover-up. It's like the waterproof material as well. It's so, so cute. I think in the summer when it's really hot in New York, I'll totally wear this as a dress on its own and it'll be so good for when you get super sweaty on the subway or whatever. But I thought it would be really good for this trip and it was such a great price on the real real. And then I also got this little like ruffly black sheer sarong to wear over my swimsuit too. And then I need to decide which of these I'm packing. These are from my brand, Stats Palette. We are releasing them within the next month or so, I think. Maybe not all of them at once. We have all the stock for them. And we're still planning out our different releases and schedule. I don't know if people want to buy shorts yet because it's still pretty cold here, at least in New York. But they are just drawstring linen shorts. They're just a shorter version of our linen pants. They're so comfy. They have really deep pockets, so they're super practical. But I think I'm going to limit myself to one pair of these. So I have to decide between the black, green, and white. Maybe I should do green or white because I'm bringing a lot of other black stuff. And then for some nicer pieces, because like I said, I don't really know what I'm getting myself into with this trip because I haven't really been the one planning it. So I wanna bring a few nicer but easier to dress down outfits for dinner and stuff. Some of these pieces are newer, some are older. I recently got these meow pants and this is called their thong pants. It also kind of just looks like they're cutouts but I understand why it's called the thong pants and there's the black, super comfy, stretchy, lightweight material. They're fitted with a slight flare. 
I think this will be great just with like a cotton tank. I'm gonna bring um, like a super basic cotton tank. And then I have like my Rick Owens halter and one shoulder. Those are always super comfy. Leslie looks so cute right now. I have to show you. And then I don't know if I'm bringing this yet. It's a misbehave skirt. It's also like an active wear material. And then it's just a little mini skirt that I think will also be great with like cotton tanks and really simple pieces or t-shirt or something. And then lastly, I have this helmet laying gray cotton mini dress that I got on the Essence sale that I think is super beachy and nice for a trip like this too. I'm also definitely gonna bring like sunglasses and a few more activewear pieces for hikes and stuff. That stuff's just kind of boring, so I didn't include it here. And probably a little purse as well because I don't think I'll always want this backpack. My boyfriend's more in charge of like gear -y things. That's more his field, I think. Beach stuff, like a beach towel and sunscreen. And I hear bug spray is quite important there too. And I'll probably leave most of my jewelry at home just so I don't have to worry about that. It's Friday. Lazo and I just got back from the park. So she's super hyper, as always, when we first get home, huh? Yeah. We're leaving for Costa Rica tomorrow. So today I'm just finishing up all of my work stuff because I'm trying to take a break while we're there and I don't know how Wi-Fi is really gonna be anyways. And I need to get everything ready for our dog and house center, do some cleaning. I did most of my packing last night and by the way, it's so easily all fitting in that bag. That bag is so great. That's enough, that's enough. But I need to get to editing a video to send into a brand and I'll catch up with you guys later. I wanna show you guys my outfit today because it's really fun. This is what I wore to the park with Laszlo earlier, but I've just thrown on a blazer on top. I'm wearing this gray thermal and actually these climbing pants that are super like techy and cool. Another the real real find and I've just thrown on this leather blazer so I have something a bit nicer on for some virtual meetings today. But yeah, I'm pretty much packed. Fitting everything in here was actually really easy and it's super light. So I don't know why I was concerned about that. Now I just need to finish up some work and then get to cleaning the apartment before we have someone staying here to watch last for the week. I also need to sort out our car parking situation actually to make sure we don't get a ticket. I have a feeling that I'm gonna forget to film the outro to this vlog later. So I wanted to wrap things up now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you super soon with a new video. Bye.